try an example to design for the ultimate flexural strength of the pre-stressed concrete member. This is an extension from the previous example. Based on the proposed sections in example 5, design for the ultimate flexural strength of the pre-stressed concrete member. The section is given here. The concrete strength is C40. There are 8 units of the tendon, 4 in each web. 7 wire standard strength is being used and the nominal diameter is 15.2 mm. The spacing between the tendon is 50. The centroid of the area of the tendon is at an eccentricity of 450 mm from the neutral axis. The neutral axis of the sections is calculated by 532 mm from the soffit. The total pre-stressing force for that eight unit of tendon is 1200 kN. The modulus of elasticity is 195 GPa. For further information, you may refer to the previous examples. You may pause the video for a while for you to work out the solution. As you know, the design for the ultimate moment, it will be for the ultimate limit state. The factor of safety will be 1.35 and 1.5 for GK and QK. This process only takes place after you have done the checking for the stress limit under the serviceability limit state. That means by this stage, the P and E should have already confirmed and the geometrical property of the sections has already been obtained. Also, the tendon size, number and also the checking force are also known as well. And more importantly, the stress mass within the stress limit under the serviceability limit state. Now, let us proceed with the solution. Based on the sections provided, we will need to draw the stress plot diagram and also the strain diagram. Based on the understanding acquired from this slide, you should able to produce this stress diagram and strain diagram. The ultimate strain of the concrete is defined by epsilon Cu3. Then assume a position of the neutral axis of bending. Draw a straight line and extend to the soffit of the beam. Find the locations of the two layers of tendon and number them in epsilon B1 and epsilon B2. Later, you will need to do the interpolations for you to determine the bending strain developed in the tendon. Next, draw the stress diagram here. The height of the stress block here will be equals to lambda times the x. The maximum stress here will be eta times FCD. FCD represents the design strength of concrete. This stress block can later be converted into a resultant compressive force in concrete, which is FC. Based on the strain interpolated from the strain diagram here, we are able to predict the stress within the tendon caused by bending, and this can later be converted into the resultant tensile force in the tendon. Then, for us to calculate the moment in the member, we need to determine the lever arm. Find the centroid of the compressive force resultant in concrete and determine the lever arm ZC. Same goes to the tendon which will give you ZB1 and ZB2. After you have successfully constructed the stress diagram, you will need to substitute the relevant value into the diagram. First, you know that the concrete strength is 40. 
and partial factor of safety of the concrete is 1.5 this 1.5 is actually given by euro code for the normal application you will need to determine the FCD which is this it can be calculated by dividing FCK with the partial factor of safety which is 40 divided by 1.5 you get 26.7 next you need to determine the eta and lambda refers to table here the concrete strength is less than 50 the eta and lambda are 1.0 and 0 0.8 respectively you are also able to determine the epsilon CU3 which will be required later in order to determine the strength in the steel tendon therefore eta times FCD will be equals to 26.7 it is given in the question that 7 wire standard steel strength with the nominal diameter of 15.2 mm is being used you will require to determine the properties of the tendon as well as the design strength of the tendon for you to compute the forces in the tendon refers to this table 7 wire standard strength nominal diameter 15.2 the area will be 139 and the FPK will be 1670 for you to determine the FPD you need to first determine the FP 0.1K which is about 0.5 FPK the FPK is 1670 times 0.5 you will get 1419.5 the partial factor of safety for the steel will be 1.15 as obtained from Eurocode that gives you FPD equals to 1234.3 Newton per mn square your next step now is to determine the positions of the neutral axis for the bending at the ultimate limit state first you will need to assume that all the strength has yielded with that you can quantify the total tensile force in the tendon there are 8 units of the tendon the design strength for each unit of tendon and also the area of the tendon the total tensile strength of the tendon will be 1372.5 which is obtained by 8 unit of tendons times the area times the design strength of the tendon based on the principles of static equilibrium the total compressive force of the concrete will be same as the total tensile force of the steel now we need to determine the total compression force it is determined by multiplying the maximum stress here times the height of the stress block times the width of the section for simplicity of the calculations we will assume that the neutral axis fall within the flank first later we are going to check the exact locations of the neutral axis if the calculated x is within the flank then it is confirmed that the neutral axis is within the flank however if we found that the calculated x is higher than the thickness of the flank that means the neutral axis will fall within the web and we will need to reconstruct the equations for the compression force due to concrete in order for us to define the locations of the neutral axis with that we will proceed with the assumptions that the neutral axis is within the flank first based on the value obtained just now substitute the eta fcd lambda and also bf 
express the compressive force in the functions of x first as at this stage we still do not know the positions of the neutral axis now we use the principle of static equilibrium where the t will be same as the c solve the equations you will get the x equals to 26.8 mm check this number with the thickness of the flank it is found that the calculated x now is less than thickness of the flank which is 100 mm and we know that the neutral axis is within the flank this is in line with the assumptions of the neutral axis within the flank with that we will use x equals to 26.8 mn for the following calculation next you will need to calculate the total tensile and compression force and check for the equilibrium multiply x value back into the equation here you will get the total compression force equals to 1373.9 kN you will need to further calculate the tensile force within the tendon